morning students in today's class we will be doing a confirmatory test of chloride ions the confirmatory test that i am going to do is the chromite chloride test how do we go about it take a fresh test tube try to dry it as much as possible in this dry test tube put the salt given to you this is a white salt i am adding it to the test tube to this salt you need to add potassium dichromate crystals which is an orange colored solid add potassium dichromate crystals to your salt before the addition of concentrated sulfuric acid which is to be done through a dropper because it is a corrosive acid you need to use another test tube and fill it with sodium hydroxide i am taking around 2 to 3 ml of sodium hydroxide in another test tube and I would be generating the chromyl chloride gas in the first test tube by adding concentrated sulfuric acid to it. That's the test going on. We have concentrated sulfuric acid. The gas coming out is reddish brown in color. This is your chromyl chloride gas. Pass the gas through the NaOH solution. It's a rough way of doing it, but works. The gas is on your right, reddish brown colored gas, dense reddish brown colored gas and I put my hand to cover it and this is the NaOH solution which is receiving this gas. Please do not tilt it further, the contents of the test tube may fall into the NaOH solution which is not allowed. So be slow and patient, wait for some amount of gas to pass into the NaOH so that the color of the NaOH solution is changing. You can observe the yellowish gas passing through the solution and the color of the NaOH solution is changing. Nothing, none of the contents of this test tube should pass into this test tube. I think that much is enough. Let us remove this. This you do not require anymore. This is the solution which has turned yellow. This is now sodium chromate formed because of the chromyl chloride gas which was purged into the NaOH solution. This is just the first step. Generation of chromyl chloride gas, passing it to NaOH to make it into sodium chromate. Now you need to add lead acetate solution. This is the lead acetate solution. Add it to the sodium chromate form and observe what happens. That's it. You get a yellow PPT form on adding lead acetate and this yellow PPT is of lead chromate. This is exactly how you do the chromyl chloride test. I'll give you a quick recap again. Into the test tube, fresh, use salt, add solid potassium dichromate, followed by concentrated sulfuric acid, would lead to the generation of a reddish brown gas, which is to be passed through a transparent sodium hydroxide solution, which will turn yellow in color. No PPT would be formed. After this, you need to add lead acetate which will lead to the formation of lead chromate to confirm chloride. Thank you.